Here is a close-up of this cute packaging. This is Doomsday, this is Blum Blunderbuss, and the liquid lipstick and citrine with the cute little bat on the side. Let's break these open and see what they look like. Hi, I'm Tony, or her Huntress. In today's video, we're going to be going over Baby Bat Beauty. I placed an order last week and I just got my items in. I have a liquid lipstick in Citrine. I also got two eyeshadow singles. This is the first time I've ever tried out their singles. We have Blunderbuss and Doomsday. So this is Blunderbuss. And then this is Doomsday. And this is the liquid lipstick in Citrine. I'm going to do swatches next of the new items. And I'm also going to swatch my other liquid lipsticks. I have four others. I love this formula. And let's get into those swatches. First, we're going to swatch the eyeshadow in Doomsday. And the next one is Blunderbuss. By the way, here's a cute card that I got in my order. Citrine. Gingerbread cookie. It looks just a little darker. I have next is spiked apple cider. Bonfire babe. Last one is Tiger Eye. It's more red than the rest of them. But here they are in natural light. Okay, I have you zoomed in here. I'm going to wear my little bat headband for this. All right, I have my eyes primed and I have just a translucent powder on them to, just to see how these shadows go. Now first, before I get into this, I know I just did the swatches, but the reason I got Citrine is because I wanted to replace my lipstick from Melt in 710. I really like this color, but it is so stiff and it looks like kind of cakey and gross on my lips. So another thing I swatches of these two next to each other to see if they were alike because I really wanted to replace this. As you can see, it's even hard to swatch this. It's so like stiff and it looks really bad on my older aged lips. So I'm really hoping that this is pretty close. And it looks like it to me. I mean, it's it's close enough. This is a little more yellow, which is okay, because this is actually old. I've had that maybe a year, and I think it was a little more yellow when I first got it. But it's it's I haven't I'm not even sure if I've had it a year, but I think this is what it looked like when I first got it. So I'm really happy with that comparison and I'll probably just get rid of that melt lipstick because it's just, it's not good for anybody. All right. And I've got my two new colors in my palette here. I also wanted to compare them with two other things that I had in my collection. 
So this is Doomsday right down here. And something else I had like it is from Davina Cosmetics and Courtney. The Doomsday is a little brighter. And the Blunderbuss, it looks like I have Bambi from Davina, Davina also. And these are almost exactly alike, in case you're wondering. I'm going to just use these two colors today to see how they work. Hopefully I can get something, a look out of them. I'm not going anywhere after this. I'm just testing these out. So I've got a Wayne Goss 16. And I'm going to just kind of fluff it up. Really light up above my crease. And I'm barely tapping my brush in because I really don't want a lot of yellow payoff up here. Okay. I just kind of barely wanted that there to help blend my next shadows. Now I'm taking a Wayne Goss 19 with that blunderbuss color. And now I don't know how these are going to work on the eyes. So I'm just taking, I mean, I'm just barely tapping into this. Cause that's a pretty dark color and I am so light that it doesn't take much to get out of control. Next I'm going to take uh, a Mary Kay crease brush and now that I kind of see how it's going to function I'm going to go in and pack on a little more in this corner I'm going to take that first crease brush, Wayne Goss 19, and I'm just going to run that through the crease a little bit on this outer edge. Okay. Next, I'm going to take another Wayne Goss brush, another 18. This is more, I don't want to say this is a packer, but it, I mean, it kind of works like that. So I want to get that yellow. So now I'm kind of getting a little more of my brush, getting a little more crazy with it. I want to pack it on the inner portion here. That shows up pretty good. And why I still have some stuff on the brush or some leftover shadow, I'm just going to barely go over that one more time. I think that blended pretty good. All right, I'm going to put some on the lower lash line now. This is just a Crown, Crown Royal brush. This is Detail. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to go do the other eye real quick, put on my eyeliner and all the rest of my goodies, and I will be back. Okay, I have all the rest of my stuff on. I've got Kat Von D, Mad Max, liner up above, Marc Jacobs mascara, a little bit of Marc Jacobs underneath. So this is it. I think it turned out pretty good. I was pretty happy with these shadows. They were a little powdery. That doesn't bother me. They re they reminded me a lot of my Davina Cosmetics shadows, which is good. That's one of my favorites. 
I'm going to assume this is going to last all day in the eye. If I find it doesn't, of course I'm only going to be wearing it a little bit tonight, but if I find out they don't last for whatever reason, I will update this video to let everyone know. I am going to finish it off with my new citrine. They smell like cookies. Nothing like a fresh liquid lipstick. Now when I wore these before, they've set pretty quickly and they are transfer proof once these set. You just gotta give them a couple of minutes. If you ever have a sticky liquid lipstick, um, I don't have too many sticky ones. Like my Beauty Bakery, I really like the one in uh, Ginger, Ginger Snap maybe. Uh, and it's a little sticky. I just take a little bit of a translucent lucent setting powder, rub my finger in it, and kind of tap it along my lips, and it makes it not sticky at all. Um, it's a little trick. But see, this is already mostly set, and I really like that color. This is going to be nice for fall. I'm pretty excited to use these again. Well, that was my video for today. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you.